Hello Sagittarians, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in April. This reading is for all of the Sagittarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the energy in April. If you are returning, you are welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading and you want to show some support to the channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Okay. Also, hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. And for something more private, more detailed and specific to your situation, the link for a personal reading is posted in the description box below. We are going to get started. Sagittarius, I'm seeing you may be juggling multiple things or multiple people. Some of you are trying to figure out which direction in which you want to go. I am seeing that as well. I'm seeing you pondering or in deep thought about cutting someone or something off or out of your life. Or this is past energy. Some of you may have had to cut off someone who was immature. You decided to cut this person off in the past. I feel like with this King of Cups, you definitely love this person. But this was a stalemate situation. It wasn't going anywhere. And I feel like it's because this person did not see what you brought to the table. They did not acknowledge your value. So you turned your back and walked away. And when you turned your back and walked away from this person, it may have left them financially burdened or in some type of financial hardship. Because it happened so quickly, they did not know what to do. <laughs> and with this King of Wands... Some of you could be dealing with the Leo or this is you taking action to focus on your money right at this time. I'm seeing you focusing on money, not even thinking about this person. Focusing on building wealth. But let's see what else is here. Why is this too? What other messages are here for the sign of Sagittarius? Okay, some of you may be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra, a Gemini or a Virgo or another or a, a Leo. So I'm seeing that um, someone here could have been juggling a mother or father of their child. Some of you may be um, pregnant with a new idea. You may be manifesting something new, be, um, being strong at this time since you walked away from this person. Someone may be messaging you, letting you know that they want to come towards you because now they are having or feeling regretful, crying over spilled milk because you was their wish fulfillment and they did not know what to do with you. Okay? Someone here did not know what to do with you, Sagittarius. Until, until you cut them off. So now that you two are worlds apart... Could be living in two different homes, two different cities, two different states. But now that there's distance here from uh, an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo, a fixed sign, um, now they want to come back in or feel regretful. They had you in a third party. Comment and let me know if your person had you in a third party situation. And you held back and moved on. Could have been with a cancer. Some of you held back from this person. And you were able to move on. You were strong enough to move on from them. And now they're coming back in. I feel like some of you gave this person a chance after chance after chance. With this um three of wands. You waited. Like you didn't just cut this person off. You gave them multiple chances to get it together. And they couldn't get it together. <clears throat> yeah, it could have been a Virgo with the Hermit card. But I feel like with that, um, once you withdrew your energy, you were able to, to see clearly. And you, because this person made you look and feel like a fool, okay? But in you looking like a fool or feeling like a fool, and this could be vice versa, so apply the energy as it fits to your story. But in that, it allowed you 
to have that space and that time that you needed to figure out a plan so that you can move forward without them. Yeah, you decided to move away from this person. That was the decision. You could have a family with this person. It could be a Leo. You moved away from them. They made you happy. They, there was stability there, but this person, someone had you in a third party. They were messing around with someone else. They were a player. And with this four of wands here, now this person is up or sleeping alone. They, they, um, this someone here has a broken heart. Yeah, feeling stuck, feeling like things are not going anywhere. Could be a Pisces. Things are suspended in the air while you're happily single and focusing on your money. <laughs> yeah. See, you're no longer anxious. No longer anxious. No longer up at night crying over this person. I feel like the shoes are on the other, on the other feet now. <clears throat> now this person is crying because you've moved on. Some of you packed yourself and you moved on or moved out, or this person moved on or moved out. And with this high priestess, you listen to your intuition. Cancer Pisces energy is here. You got clear, the clarity that you needed because you, you had that time again to go within to listen to your intuition. Yeah, this situation was toxic. This person thought that they were your puppet master. They thought that they controlled you. But in reality, they had you in a third party. They were a charmer with dark features, look good, but probably bringing you home flowers by traveling to see someone else. And here it is, the Queen of Wands. They were traveling to see a, a mistress or a side piece for masculine energy. Someone here was traveling to see someone else. And this other person that they were dealing with could have been doing spell work. And you got tired of trying to figure out what this person was doing. You got tired. Although your heart was broken, you were able to move on. Yeah, it took you some time. But you turned your back and you moved on from this person. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to be in a commitment with this person. But they caused you nothing but headaches. So that's what you did. Walked away. Cut them off and walked away. All right. So let's get some love oracle cards out here for you, Sagittarius. And then we're going to close this out. All right. Let's see. We have the engage. Okay. So some of you may have been married or engaged to this person. This definitely was a, um, a long-term or committed relationship. This person was a narcissist. They thought that you were not going to see through their um, BS. Like you were so in love, you weren't going to see through their mess. Hmm. And guess what you did? Block their asses out. Block them out because, again, seduction. Third party interference. They had you in a third party situation. So you cut them off with this X card. You cut them off. You did some reflecting. Took responsibility for your part. And you moved on from someone who was running away from commitment. This person was running away from a commitment with you. And they thought that you were going to chase behind them. That's what they wanted. But no, you said the hell with that, I'm out. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that, Sagittarians. This is your reading for the energy in April. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.